This is what we've been looking for as we walk down this creek. We've got some lion tracks over here, mountain lion or cougar tracks. We've also got some ringtail tracks cutting across this sandy little wash. And right here is our bobcat tracks. That's the target animal we're looking for. What makes this a good place? The creek coming through, yes, but this structure forces them cats off of that sandy trail and down across this water. 175 trap here. I've already got the three bedded in place. You can see right here where I got the pan. I put that number three a little bit to the right side of this trail as the cats work down. So I'm going to put this 175 on the left side of the trail as he goes down or the right side as he comes back up. I'm not trying to confuse you there, but I want you to know that you've got to stagger those traps in that trail or there's no sense in putting two traps in there. We're trying to increase our percentages of picking up that cat as he walks down this trail. There's not going to be any lure or bait at this set. It's going to be a one-shot deal when he works this trail. We're going to make, want to make sure that he actually steps in them kill areas the first time he comes down this trail. And we want to make sure we bunch this trail together. We crowd that cat right through this place. We don't want him coming down over here or up in them rocks. They're naturally coming through here anyway, which is the key to a trail set, setting on sign. The tracks are working right through this spot anyway. And I'm going to bunch my chain up a little bit so I can rest a loose jaw right on the stake head. That's going to give me the best, most solid bed. I'm using six foot of chain or so and a two-pronged grapple here. We want to get some dirt in around this trap, pack it in place. So it doesn't tip or wobble. Very important whenever you're putting an upland trap in the ground to make sure that it won't tip or wobble if the animal steps on the jaw or the lever. Check for tip or wobble on all sides of the trap. Use a hamburger patty paper here. Just put it over top of that trap. Put a little bit of sand over. We're just trying to keep any little rocks. We don't want rocks in between the jaws. Locate that pan, and then let's pack inside the jaws of the trap. We want to try to seal that pan cover down. There's a natural set it, settling action that can happen there. We can just take it, get it over with right there, just by packing like that. OK, our trap's in place. It's going to be level or below the ground. We've got our number three up here. We're staggered in the trail. We've got our chain running down through here. We can throw a little sand over that and hide it. Now all we have to do is blend this approach and then crowd this trail together to make absolutely sure that when them cats work down this trail, they're going to step on one or two of these traps. Get a little sand over top. So we can reach off the pattern here, pick up some sand, and then strew it across our traps. Nice light colored sand. Get down in here. Remember, we don't have to, it doesn't have to be tabletop smooth in here. This trail's rough going all the way up in here. We want it to stay rough as it works down through this twin set. A little bit more blending, and then let's crowd, our, crowd up the trail a little bit. I had this bush moved back here so you all could see. Now I'm going to push this bush back where it was, help kind of crowd that side. The loose jaw of the trap's over here. I want to get a rock in there to guard that loose jaw. The pan's right here. The kill area of the trap's here. I'm trying to force that cat through that way. On this side, the trap's on the, the pan's over here, so we want to guard the loose jaw of the trap over here. Remember, we're staggering those traps in there. Also, we want to make sure the cats don't try to go around. Let's get a little bigger structure in here. Actually crowd them up. If we wanted, we could put a stepping stick in here. There's nothing wrong with that. You can force cats to do what you want. Just make sure you crowd them enough that they aren't going to go around you. Remember, there's no lure here. There's no bait here. I want to tie some toilet paper over here on this branch for flagging. This branch is kind of hanging out over the stream. I want to make sure that I leave some tails on this toilet paper hanging down, kind of blowing the wind. There's a lot of contrast here. This is white, and there's a dark background. Cats, as they move through, they use their eyes to hunt. And since we don't have any lure on this set, this side attraction may get a cat that's working the opposite side of this creek to come over here and work our trail, or may get him to slow down and take a few extra steps on this trail while he studies this flag. <laughs>